Bodrum is known for beautiful beaches, ancient castles and the marina. But today we'll take you on an alternative activity, one that's becoming increasingly popular in this region. So be ready and get your walking shoes on. Start the trail here at Etzim village, one of the last remaining nomadic villages left in Bodrum. It's easy to tell that the tradition is still carried on just by looking at the village alone. Young ladies still enjoy making hand embroidery carpets that are notorious to this region. Just 24 kilometres outside of Bodrum, Etzim village demonstrates a true Anatolian village lifestyle particular village is also home to one of the many places that make the popular traditional Turkish carpet. You can see many different varieties of the special weaving process called kirim. Oh wow, so much variety. Gorgeous. Now we've got a full road ahead of us today. So first things first, we're gonna start the day off with a full organic breakfast. Bodrum Peninsula's first ever hiking trail, the Leleg Yolo or Leleg Route, is an 88 kilometer hiking trail packed with the most interesting sites from history to art. Remains from ancient civilization can still be seen along the nature field trail. Hikers can also select the route depending on altitude levels, distance and timing of their choice. I'm about nine to 10 kilometers into the hike. Now I'm about to show you something that is truly magnificent. Follow me. Now en route, climbing a 1.5 kilometer hill, trying to get to the top of Kaplanda, which translates to Tiger Mountain. I'll see you up there. Seems we've got 330 meters to go via the side road to Kapla Marese. Now I want to show you something very important. Along the tracks you will notice signs like this. The red and the white is recognized globally and indicates that you need to keep following the route. The red and the yellow indicate that it's a side road where there's different uh, attractions for you to see. This also indicates that there's an exit at the end so if you feel tired or there's an emergency you can follow this road here. A quick pit stop and I've decided to take my break at Yelichiflik, a small town in Bodrum that has an olive factory. I'm going to go inside now for some tasting. about 25 to 30 k's away from the starting point and I just want to show you this magnificent view from up here on the Kuzil Arj mountain. Check it out. We've just hit a crossroad between the Karia route and the Leleg route. If we decide to go straight towards the Karia route, we'll end up at the Bodrum city centre. However, we're going down the Leleg route. Let's keep going. situated at the Mindos Kapasa. This gateway behind me was recently constructed and has been in presence since 400 BC. The Mindos Gate, situated in eastern Bodrum, is the only remaining monumental gate of the seven kilometre long ancient wall of Halikarnassos and is one of the most important historical sites in Bodrum. Lelek route has been discovered in 2016. Uh, it's actually, the route as itself is not actually an ancient route. It's a man-made uh, route which has been designed by the architect of the uh, route. Uh, it covers 
uh, around 88 kilometers at the length, the main route, and with the side entrance is around 188 kilometers. It has eight Lelek uh, cities which were emptied later on to become uh, Halicarnassus. And also we have the birthplace of uh, Admiral Turgut Reis. Uh, we have uh, six mountains. We have an Obruk, you know, the uh, fell down. We have a volcanic criteria, uh, crater, and we have a uh, nine beautiful nomadic village on this route. city of Pedasa sits Gebekilese, a dome-shaped tomb left from the Lelek civilization. This tomb has had zero modifications made to it and has naturally preserved itself from time. my Lalig route trail for this exact moment, sunset. We've now reached the end of the Lalig route trail. If you're interested, get on board. It won't disappoint.